In my last video, we took on a complex subject, drawing a car. In this video, let's take it down a notch and get a little simpler. And I'll be sketching today a simple washing machine. And I'm gonna be doing that sketching with tools. My very first boss at college had this awesome style where he would sketch with drawing tools and yet it wouldn't look stiff, it'd look really loose. I think that would be because he'd always be moving the tools across the page and it would still have a very light sketch-like feel. I'm gonna start by sketching some verticals that uh, that imply the front face of this washing machine and getting a nice diagonal across there that'll serve as the center point for my ellipse. Now notice I've got an ellipse guide, but as I use the ellipse guide, I'm moving it around a little bit so that it, it, the sketch stays loose, the lines aren't too tight, it's not too neat. I'm come back here and here again to find my, my front face and my, my dryer. Maybe it kind of cuts down a little bit here with some chamfers that, that mirror kind of top to bottom. And now I'm gonna start drawing that face back in, in, in space. Notice I'm, I'm using the, the ruler here, my Rocco ruler, but I'm keeping it, I'm keeping it loose, not going too crazy. Maybe there's that part line here where the front face hits the, the metal construction of the dryer. And let's start to have a little fun here. Maybe the display for the dryer actually comes up um, right off of the, the front load door. And then maybe there's a large knob that kind of cuts into that chamfer nicely. Uh, and some, some additional controls. Now that I have the overall shape sketched in, you notice I'll start to come in with some heavier lines here, getting some shadow kind of implied on the bottom. And I'm only using the tool for the longer lines, right? I don't need the, the tools really for little things. Let's get a handle implied on the, the right face of that. And let's start drawing through to what the inside of that is. There's a, usually a metal drum inside of these things to allow the clothes to spin. We get a little cast shadow on the inside, and then maybe that glass has a little bow to it. So we get a little shading, get a center line on there as well. Let's start to define the, the right side of the dryer just to, to, to give the faces a little bit of separation. And now we can start to have some fun. So I'm gonna black in that whole display area um, that comes off of the door. I'm just blacking that in with my Sharpie. Let's get the, let's get the control knob in the same thing. Maybe there's a couple other little controls. And then let's black in this inner ring of this, this door bezel here. It's some kind of a gasket or a seal uh, that goes around the glass. And we'll pop the perforations inside the drum again as well. Pumping up my ground plane. And I'm gonna come back in with my, my ellipse guides. It'd be great if I could remember what size the ellipse was. And really darken in that door just so it, it doesn't feel out of place with the Sharpie. And maybe there's a little bit of shade here. That's a little bit of maybe a chrome trim ring. And let's shade the underside of that. I'm just, I'm just using the side of the pencil on that kind of stuff. Now that we have this in, really starting to define the, the surfaces and come back in with some white here, pop into that Sharpie so we can get a sense of that display that it blacked out. Maybe there's some, some character displays, a couple additional keys there, uh, inputs, and then a little bit of a highlight on the edge of the display where, where the, the black, uh, translucent plastic hits the opaque front. And there you go, very simple demo drawing with tools. Keep sketching everybody. If you have any questions or comments, post them below, and I'd love to hear your requests for future videos.